What are you working on? All right, I'll let you get to work. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be fixing the walls from the wainscot I ripped out in the last video. So in this video, I'm taking a scraper like this and scraping all the old caulking off, all the old liquid nails off, and I'm just gonna get it off as much as I can then start skim coating it. Now what I have done was a little dad trick where I told my kids that there's a competition to see who can rip off the longest piece of old caulking. So they were in here ripping all this off and they did most of it for me already. So if that's a little dad trick you can do, make everything a competition and they can definitely help you. So let's get started. So what I'm using to peel the rest of the stubborn caulking and liquid nails off is just a heavy duty scraper with a pretty sharp tip. And I'm just getting under it and pulling off the stuff that we couldn't get by hand. It's, it's a good tool for it. It's 24 hours later and if you hear some noise outside it's a goat cart they were driving a goat cart out here because we're not actually in city limits so people kind of do whatever they want fireworks whatever and my wife actually made a friend earlier and the little girl that took her for a ride in the goat cart so the neighbors are nice this place is awesome so far so good anyways my first skim coat is dried and it's looking pretty good I floated it out pretty thin because I didn't want to just overkill it and up there where the ceiling and the wall meet I'm just going to put crown anyways so I didn't go all the way uh, to the top there and then in the corners whenever I shoot it with the texture gun it'll get all that I didn't want to really spend time and work on that they're pretty much pretty good anyways the main thing obviously with repairing these walls is eliminating where that wainscot used to be and if you remember in the last video how that looked it's way different now there is that built-in over here completely gone and that first skim coat really changed the look of this place and makes it look like pretty much a blank canvas for me that's what i think of so if you look close you can see the old paint color still coming through but that's fine what i'm going to do now is sand it so i knocked down the trowel lines from the drywall knife where I kind of troweled it out over the walls and knocked down the big ones and then put another skim coat on and basically it's going to be the same thing. So after I get that done then it's going to be time to spray the texture. sun is going down on another productive day so all in all I think I have probably I want to say six to eight man hours in this project and maybe not even that I'm not really keeping track of it but it's not really taking me that long I'm just gonna be doing this when I have spare time and I have decided that I'm gonna do this upstairs area one room at a time so I don't overwhelm myself and just create a disaster up here but I'm gonna get this room done and then I'm gonna shoot the texture that'll be the next video and then we're gonna start 
looking at trim options. So here's what I want you to do. Go to Google, Pinterest, Instagram, wherever you can find some cool trim work and help me decide what kind of trim I'm gonna install in really my house. So what you're gonna do is go find a picture, grab that link, put it in the comment section. I'm personally gonna look at every single link that is sent to me that has to do with trim carpentry. So for example, show me something on how like doors are cased or show me like some window casings or show me some wainscot, which is probably what I'm gonna do up here. And I know it's kind of redundant to be texturing and fixing it from, from all the way down, even though I'm gonna put a wainscot, but I don't know how high and all that, so I'm just making a blank canvas. So do that, put it in the comment section. I'm gonna look at it. Hopefully I can find some inspiration from you guys out there. And thanks for hanging out with me again on remodeling my office up here. So I'll see y'all on the next video. Take care.